I'm angry. I'm determined that this will not happen again. We need to hold the commissioner to account for the intelligence failures that didn't prepare themselves for what was happening on the streets of Dublin yesterday. Violent clashes in Dublin last night saw vehicles set alight and fireworks thrown at police. The rioting followed an attack outside a school in which three children and a woman were stabbed. A man was arrested in connection with that. Drew Harris is Ireland's police commissioner. Well, I, I think there's disgraceful scenes in terms of a uh, major investigation, the maintenance of a scene, the gathering of evidence, and we have a complete lunatic hooligan faction uh, driven by far-right uh, ideology and also then this disruptive tendency here and engage then in serious violence. Now we are drafting in resources to deal with that and, and that will be de dealt with properly. I, I've, I've given it, I've made it very clear and given full direction to, the, uh, to our resources here in DMR in respect of making arrests and bringing offenders to justice. Well let's speak now to Gary Gannon, Member of the Irish Parliament for Dublin Central. Gary, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, I'm alright, thank you. How are you? And and what do you make of what you witnessed last night in Dublin? I'm absolutely shocked. I can't really find words to put meaning into what I experienced yesterday. The first instance, an incredibly tragic, vicious attack on children and a care of those children. I think Lee left, left us all dumbfounded. We haven't really ever experienced anything like that in Dublin, possibly in Ireland, a vicious, senseless attack. And all the while we were struggling to come to terms with that, some of the same fire service, fire and ambulance services, the same police who intervened, some of the same families who would have had to take their children from school, then all had to bear witness and intervene with a riot where a far-right element um, and a horde of tugs basically set fire to the streets afterwards without giving anybody time to really comprehend what we witnessed yesterday in terms of the attack on children. So mm -hmm. this morning as a representative for the area, I'm angry. I'm determined that this will not happen again. We need to hold the commissioner to account for the intelligence failures that didn't prepare themselves for what was happening on the streets of Dublin yesterday, but just also get into the community again and see how everybody is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's interesting what you say there about intelligence failures on the part of the police. We heard Commissioner Harris, some of what he had to say, and we're expecting an update, I think, perhaps even in the next sort of half hour or so from the police about eight o'clock. He said a lunatic hooligan faction driven by far-right ideology. Now, that's quite strong language to use and to respond so quickly in the sort of thick of the incident as well. So when, are you sort of piecing that together then, Gary, in terms of what he said there and then what you described as intelligence failures? Do you, the police could have <laughs> preempted this, do you think? The, yes. The, I mean, I got a call from my mother at about three o'clock yesterday telling me not to go near the scene of the forced crime because there was to be a group assembling there to protest. And we all knew what that was going to mean. In terms of Commissioner Harris' reference to a far-right element, Look, we've been screaming for about two years now about increased far-right activities here in Ireland. But Commissioner Harris has taken a very softly hands-off approach because his belief was that if you give these people too much attention, that they will grow. Um, so we've had instances where far-right members are going into libraries and taking out books that you disagree with, terrorising library staff. We've seen centres that were housing migrants here being set on fire. This is not the force. This is a culmination of a number of different instances. And there's absolutely what he described as a lunatic cringe, but an absolute horde of thugs who have been increasingly acting without consequence around the city of Dublin and elsewhere, all assembled in the central part of the city yesterday and ran riot. And, I mean, Commissioner Harris has responsibility here and I really think he's failed. In terms of the intelligence failures, look, as I said, my own mother called me yesterday to tell me that mm. there was going to be a group assembling from Facebook posts. Telegram was alive with people talking about um, the riot that there was impending. But the fact that there was an absence of guardian in the central part of the capital city and your listeners might not be aware where this riot took place yesterday was on O'Connell Street. It is literally the main thoroughfare in Dublin. It's um, like going down to Oxford Circus in London, for mm. example, mm. and having a riot. And we are underprepared. Guard, the police who were there yesterday, they were understaffed. Some of the, some horrific videos of individual guard being attacked by 
dozens and dozens of young thugs and they were left isolated. I think the Commissioner really has to consider his position now at this point. The Commissioner has to consider his position. Um, Gary, just very quickly, time is against us. Can you just explain yeah. how the accountability of the Police Commissioner works? Is it is it to you as, as a member of the Parliament? Who who can hold him accountable? No, he's, he's accountable to the Justice Minister. So we have a parliamentary democracy similar to the UK where yeah. we have government in opposition, but we're a multi-party system. The Justice Minister himself, herself is responsible. She appoints the Guard Commissioner. He's responsible to the Justice Minister and to the government. Understood. OK, uh, thank you very much. It's good to speak to you, Gary. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Robert. That's Gary Gannon, who's a member of the Irish Parliament for Dublin Central, saying that Ireland's police commissioner should be considering his position this morning.